Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message. Your GPU driver version does not meet the minimum requirement when you're trying to launch any games or applications on your computer. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved, which I'm going to mention in this video. Please make sure to watch this video till the end. Now, the first step is to go ahead and delete the DirectX shader cache in your Windows. To do this, you will have to go ahead and open the disk cleanup. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type disk cleanup. You will see the best match for the disk cleanup. Click on it. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. After this prompt, you should see the disk cleanup window open on your computer. Once you have the disk cleanup open on your computer, you will have to go ahead and select the DirectX shader cache by checking this box and then click on OK. Click on OK and when you get a prompt, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? You may click on delete files. You would see the pop up screen wait until the files has been deleted once this is done you may go ahead and restart your computer and check if you are able to launch the application if you are able to launch the application well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step what you could try is you could go ahead and check if you have the latest version of DirectX installed on the computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window, you will have to go ahead and type DXDIAG and then click on OK. This should open the DirectX Diagnostic Tool. Once you have the DirectX Diagnostic Tool under the system, you would see the DirectX version. In case if this version is less than 12 or it has not been updated, what you could do is you can close this window, open the browser. In the browser, you can go ahead and search for DirectX download and hit enter. You will see the best match for the DirectX download. Make sure you f go to the official Microsoft website, not any third party website. Make sure it is from the Microsoft website. I will also mention this link in the video description. Click on it. You would see the latest version of DirectX available. Once you're on this, you will have to choose the language, the respective language, and then click on download. Follow the step-by-step -step instruction to go ahead and download the latest version of DirectX on your computer. Once this is done, you may go ahead and restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now, in case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. The next method is for the clearance of cache of graphic card. Now, in case if you're using a different graphic card, there are different steps which you need to try. The steps what I'm going to mention in this video is for the NVIDIA. For the other graphic cards like AMD, I will mention the steps in the video description. You can follow it from the video description. So if you're using an NVIDIA graphic card, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type the command percentage local app data percentage and then click on OK. This should take you to the uh, location. Once you are on this location, you will have to go ahead and locate for NVIDIA. You, you will have to double click on NVIDIA and then you will have to go ahead and delete these files which are DX cache and uh, also you will have to delete the files from the GL cache. In case if there are any files to be deleted, you can leave it as is. Once this is done, you will have to go back one step and then look for NVIDIA Corporation. Under this, locate for the folder which says NV cache, NV underscore cache. In case if you find a folder NV underscore cache, double click on that folder and delete what is there in that folder. In my case, I don't have that file NV cache in case if you have it on your computer, open that folder and delete it. Once that is done, you may close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're using AMD as a graphic card, I will mention the steps in the video description. Once you restart your computer, check if you are able to launch the application and see if your issue has been resolved. In case if it is resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, the next method is to go ahead and disable or enable the graphic card driver the native graphic card driver to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on the device manager and that should open the device manager on your computer once you have the device manager you can go ahead and expand display adapters and here you would see your integrated graphic card on your computer so if it is uh, amd you will see amd in my case it is nvidia that's why we have nvidia listed here so you can do a right click and then click on disable and once you disable the 
then you will have to go ahead and do a right click again and then click on enable close this window restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved now this should definitely fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what you could do is you could go, go ahead and try fix problem using windows update to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you will have to go ahead and click on windows update on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you will have to go ahead and locate for advanced option click on it and then locate for recovery under recovery you will see an option which says fix problems using windows update click on reinstall now here you will have to go ahead and follow the instructions what is there on the screen check the box which says automatically restart my pc 15 minutes after the installation or else you can go ahead and click on ok directly follow the step by step instructions during this process your computer will restart multiple times wait until your computer is restarted completely and your back to the desktop and then try to launch the application and that should definitely fix the problem now, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day